High-resolution Acura Mass instruments produce a great amount of complicated data, and turning those data into results and decisions is a big challenge. Masterview software simplifies compound identification, quantitation, and data review from complex mass spec data files so that your lab can more efficiently and effectively turn data into answers. This video series will show you how. In this first video, we will describe how Masterview software can be used to screen unknown samples against a targeted list of compounds for quick identification of which compounds in our targeted list are present in our unknown sample. Masterview is a software module within PeakView software. Once we launch PeakView software, we select Masterview, then New Session. From here, we are able to browse our computer to open the data files of the samples we want to analyze. For this demo, we are selecting four food samples that we would like to analyze for a targeted list of pesticide residues. We select those samples, and we also select our two PPB pesticide solvent standard to use as the control sample for this targeted analysis. Then we select OK. The total ion chromatograms, or TICs, for all of these samples appear in the top panel of the software, and the Masterview processing table appears in the lower panel. For a targeted analysis, we first tell the software which sample in our list is the control sample. In this case, we set the control sample to our 2PBB solvent standard, which contains all of our targeted compounds we are interested in analyzing for in our unknown samples. We now need to select our list of targeted compounds. We select the Open folder, then choose our Pesticide XIC target list, which we have created to contain several hundred pesticide residues that we commonly test for in our food samples. This list contains the name of our compounds and information including their molecular formulas and what ion addicts we should expect to detect. The software automatically calculates the expected accurate mass for each compound based on this information. And in this case, we also provide the retention time since this is a targeted list and we have some information on the expected retention times of our compounds of interest. XIC lists can be customized for any specified targeted list of compounds. The data processing parameters are set up by selecting the gear icon in the menu bar. View the next video in our Masterview demo series to learn more about customizing these settings for your analysis. Once the data processing settings are set, we simply click the Process button and the software then processes our acquired data by extracting the ion chromatograms for all of our targeted compounds in all of the samples included here in our data set. Masterview software compares each of those XICs to our targeted list based on the extracted accurate mass, the isotope pattern, the retention time, and also how well the MSMS -MS fragmentation pattern matches the MSMS -MS profile of the compound included in the library. Once processing is completed, we can quickly sort our results by our selected confidence settings to bring the results that match our targeted list with the highest confidence to the top of the table. Here we are viewing the results for the Chinese broccoli sample. And there are four pesticides that rise to the top of the list as being present in the sample with high confidence. All four of these display green check signals for the targeted accurate mass, the retention time, the isotope pattern, and the library FIT score, giving us confidence that these compounds are present in our sample. We can also select any compound, then click on the Show MS and MSMS MS icon to further review the results. The Accurate Mass MS spectra display on the left-hand side and the MSMS MS spectra on the right-hand side, with the acquired data shown as blue traces and the calculated accurate mass and isotope patterns from the XIC list and the MSMS -MS library spectra shown as gray traces. In this window, we can easily compare our Chinese broccoli results to our 2PBB solvent standard for the compound metalaxyl for fast and efficient data review. In the top chromatogram panel, we can compare the intensities of the chromatographic peaks of our unknown sample on the left-hand side with the peak for that compound in our control sample on the right-hand side which can provide semi-quantitative results for that compound. Compounds highlighted in green in our results table indicate that these compounds are present in our unknown samples 
exceeding the concentration of that compound in our known control sample. Masterview software also enables us to set our table filtering criteria. Our next video will explain more about how these filtering criteria can be adjusted to meet your data analysis needs. Based on these criteria that we've set up here, we can then select the filter box at the right-hand side of the table, and the display will update to only show compounds that met our table filtering criteria. This allows for faster and more efficient data review. We can then look through each sample and review positive findings for all samples in this batch. From here, we can see that the Chinese broccoli contains four compounds, the orange juice does not contain any of our targeted pesticides, the orange sample contains two compounds, and the Roma tomato contains three compounds. At this point, we can report these results in one of two ways. We can either export the results to MultiQuant to perform quantitation, or we can directly generate a report from MasterView, which highlights these positive findings based on the screening and library search results. To learn more about MasterView software and to view other video demos, go to www.abscix.com slash masterview.